Frost. Hello everybody, I have a 08 G37 automatic. It's a five speed. Previously tuned by somebody else in Whittier. So this guy was not happy with the other person's tune. He said it did not perform good right after he took it to uh, the shop that he rents or whatever. And he saw that he you know raised somebody else and it didn't make sense i believe he said the car was stock so if you watch my videos maybe you comment but i think that's what he told me that the other car was stock so this one's uh you know has the basic stuff intake test pipe exhaust it's on 91. i already did the baseline um i already did the baseline pull i looked at the log and this one's actually not not good as always i tell you guys in the videos i'll tell you if it's good if it's decent if it's gonna be a challenge to get more power out of it but this one's not running good at all and the knock sensor again is turned off the computer can't really do any controlling so just i don't recommend you turn off the knock sensor if you don't know what you're doing or if you're new to tuning just leave it on it, you know you have years and years and decades of r d from a factory you know from all these very smart people and here you come and you just turn it off like if you know what you're doing so if you don't know what you're doing just leave it on this is decades and decades of r d and for you to just come in and you think you're smarter than them for like 30 minutes 40 minutes an hour worth of work that, that's not how it works you know if you're a really great tuner if you know what you're doing that's a whole different story you know you basically have the same knowledge as they do all right so first pull we're already making 5.3 wheel horsepower more with my first adjustments and it's already running way safer I mentioned this but there's no difference in the parts how he brought it today is how it was tuned when he went to the other person oh Jesse oh. all right so this one is done in 8.47 there's a Gatorade in the way the torque was 246 now it's 252 and then, yeah, there's a sensor that doesn't work, but I need to tell him. I forgot to tell him. How much gallon you guys have? Okay. Are you guys waterproof? Yeah, low. I have a 07 G35 sedan, so it's a HR. It's automatic. It's tuned. It was tuned by somebody else, tuner in uh, Whittier. It was a street tune, I guess, about a year ago. So this, the owner of this car, his motor blew uh, after he got the, the tune from the other tuner and the transmission also blew so he got a new motor a new transmission well you know used and here he is uh, retuning with me i already did a baseline pull but it, it's like decent not the best i already explained everything to him and i'm gonna go ahead and retune everything all right this one is done All right guys, so I have a 370Z manual transmission. This one is also tuned by the other tuner that the G35 sedan was. This one, this guy, uh, so this is, this is a 2012. This one, this guy just bought it. So he knows it's tuned by that same tuner and he just doesn't want the tune. He just wants to get rid of it. Uh, he d definitely doesn't want to drive on that tune. So he changed a few parts on it. So we can't do a baseline anyways. But 
This one's on E85, three inch intakes. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start tuning it. So this one here, uh, I could already tell it's not in the best shape. So we are at 296 after a good amount of tuning. Should already be over 300 on 85 on our dyno. So I'm going to assume some damage was already done by the other tune and when the, the previous owner had it. So yeah, not the best thing that he probably wants to hear, the new owner, but that, that's how it is, you know? I mean, he tried to come to me uh, as soon as he bought the car to get rid of the other tune, but it, it's not his fault because I guess it was already messed up when he bought the car. So there's some room for improvement, but the car is just struggling to make the power. So the end result, it, it's gonna be a couple more horsepower and, and that's pretty much it.